everyone. Welcome to Friday Night's Calendar with Tina Gelder and Duncan Woods. These are the main stories coming up on tonight's programme. Anger as hospital bosses pay a former consultant four and a half million pounds in damages while shutting down overnight emergency services. This taxi driver turns private detective to clear his name after he was wrongly accused of slapping a toddler in his cab. And how peculiar this Yorkshire brewed ale becomes an overnight American success. It's all thanks to a US cop show. Now finally this evening to the last in a special series of reports this week which have turned into something of a calendar Christmas taste-a-thon. Yes, who could forget the Christmas dinner cake from Harrogate with all those sprouts and parsnips on on Tuesday. You missed that one, it was fantastic. I did, and I missed the next one because who could forget the festive pizza with a calzone Christmas pud from Bridlington. That was last night. And that was gorgeous too. Well, tonight, <laughs> guess what? It's beer. But there is a reason to roll out the Christmas ale because a brewer from North Yorkshire is taking the United States by storm after it was name-checked on one of their top crime dramas. Yes, the stars of NCIS Los Angeles have been sampling the Yorkshire ale in their Christmas special. And believe it or not, America could be about to fall in love with the traditional British bitter. Well, there was only one place to send Chris Kiddy for this report. Across the pond. In the village of Masson, that is, in North Yorkshire. Sorry, Chris. <laughs> It's difficult to confuse the two. This is life on the mean downtown streets of Los Angeles, at least seen through the eyes of a TV drama lens. And this is Massam in North Yorkshire. Not quite so many gun-wielding cops around here, are there? So, how did a typically English beer brewed here end up with a starring role on the other side of the Atlantic? Ah! Ooh! This is Theakston's Christmas Ale, flown all the way from Yorkshire, England, and brewed as it was in Charles Dickens' time. <laughs> to friends, the whole thing's a bit of a mystery, even to the brewer himself. First we heard, we got an email from a chap called Aldo, um, who wrote to us saying, um, we've seen a clip on American TV about a Theakston beer called Theakston's Christmas Ale. Do you sell it here in America? So we thought, what on earth is this man talking about? We had no idea about it. But at the bottom of his email was a little connection clip. So we clicked on it, and there, behold, came this rather extraordinary scene. There is, of course, much the Americans would like about the way they brew in Masson. Charles Dickens himself doesn't actually make the barrels. A chap called Jonathan does. But that's by the by. On with the story, Simon. The next thing we know, it was... I think we call it Twitter, and it was appearing around, everybody on the internet was hearing about it, and we've had numerous phone calls. In fact, I've had some more emails this morning from America. The joke is, though, the brewery doesn't actually make a specific Christmas ale. But next year, guess what? They will. Now, I have to thank the Americans, because you know, since they've suggested it, I think it's a cracking idea. And so we say farewell to the uh, quiet North Yorkshire town of Massam. As I said earlier, nothing can be uh, further removed from the crime-ridden streets of Los Angeles. There's a what? Oh dear, he that's what happened when Kitty yeah. fell over after having four pints. <laughs> <clears throat> just took his chalk with me, loved it, didn't he? Obviously, we wanted to taste the beer. He's got it. He hasn't brought any back. Never mind, here's Kerry with the weather. I'm not upset, I'm not bitter. Bitter, do you see what I did there? Yeah.